Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Simply Colorful Fibercast. My name is Lynn Marquadant. I'm your host, and today is March, I think it's the 19th, 2021. Let me check. Yes, it's the 19th. I didn't check that before we went live. Welcome. Today, we're going to be continue making our scraps. Last week, we made nine patches that measure three and a half inches total, using up my scraps. And today we're going to add some half square triangles to it and do a variation on the Jacob's Ladder traditional historic block. So uh, I also am going to share with you something from this book. Old age is always 15 years older than I am. I think I had read that to you at one point. So let's just pick one right now. I forgot to do it last year. I mean, last week. Okay, Will Rogers, a U.S. humorist. Half our life is spent trying to find something to do with the time we have rushed through life trying to save. Huh, isn't that true? Okay. Women whose identity depends more on their outsides than their insides are dangerous when they begin to age. Gloria Steinem, U.S. feminist. Oh, that's a good point, right? As we age. Uh, Barbara Cartland, an English novelist says, I'll keep going until my face falls off. <laughs> so we'll do more quotes from old age is always 15 years older than you are. Okay. So, so that I don't forget that last week we cut lots of squares. I've been busy with my t-shirt quilt. This one, the second one this week, this is a Harley Davidson aficionado. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie, it's so nice to have you join us. That's great. And Maggie and mom. Hi, mom. You're early. <laughs> but it's nice to see everyone. And again, what I'm going to do is make half square triangles so that we can make a modified Jacob's ladder. And I've got let's get my oh yeah, get my iron on. I cut my four inch squares. And you can make half square triangles, as you know, any of a number of ways. Hi Carol. Happy Friday. How am I going to do it? I think I'm going to draw a line. Let's try this way first. I need four of the same kind. So I think I'll take my pencil and I'll draw a line down and then I'll sew on either side. So let me get one more and that will give us our four. I got this cute green fabric yesterday. It was so fitting for St. Patrick's Day. Actually, probably two days ago, excuse me. And Cindy had used it when she dropped off the Dear Jane software. Oh, she wrapped the software in it. I have the hiccups. <laughs> okay, so you're going to hear a little noise. I'm going to do a scant, scant half inch. Mm. It was cold here in New England, but I think, but it was sunny, and I think the next two days here are going to be sunny and possibly a little more spring like. Karen Marinelli, happy Friday. In fact, I was just going to mention you talking about spring. Do you remember the daffodils you sent me last fall? Well, they're starting to come up and I'm so excited. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
I seem to not have great luck with bul with bulbs, and I think it's because I have voles, I think. But the first year should be, I hope, I hope they don't eat them. Okay, so I just cut those in half. And I'm going to iron to toward the dark. And okay, who's out there? Hmm, I don't know who that is. Just changing things here. Okay, sorry guys, my wind zip has expired and it's it's getting in my way. Uh-oh. Hi Linda Griffin. Hello, is it you alls? Tell us what you're working on. Let us know what kind of quilting you do. Okay. So, okay, am I even gonna trim these? No, this is... You alls, tell us what you what kind of quilting you do. Hi, Sue. I've had a good week. I hope you've had a good week, too. Okay. Now, let me get my three and a half inch square here. out of my awesome ruler holder that TG Bob made me. Okay, here we go. So they do need trimming up. Apparently I made my seams too scant. that. There's one, two, three. I was able to get my second vaccination yesterday instead of next Friday. Oh, that is great. That's great news, Sue. Hi, Deb. Great news. So these really needed trimming up, and it will be worth it. And then we will make our first modified Jacob's Ladder. I couldn't... It It's free. The pattern is free online in several sites. I have a book here that it has 501 quilt patterns. Do you think I could find it in there? Nope. So, but it's an old traditional one that has been around forever. I'll tell you, if you do a lot of quilting, and if you do squaring up, this Martelli mat is wonderful. Now, let's see how these are doing. Oh, these could use a square up. I 
whenever that does happen, let's see. Okay. One. Two. Now we need five of these, and I know they're all going to be very similar, but that's okay for our first one, meaning our nine patches all are made out of the same color fabric. I'm not paying much attention to color, but I am paying attention to value. So dark's in the middle. Darks in the corners, lights around. So what's everyone been doing? I pulled out a book that my aunt gave me years ago, my aunt Nancy, and I think I've read from it before too. It's called Anonymous Was a Woman. It's a great book by Mira Bank. And... It's really a celebration in words and images of traditional American art and the women who made it and how oftentimes the women who made it were anonymous. They were unnamed. They were in the shadows, if you will, and they were making the art after all of the other duties of living in the 1800s were done. So, quite different, say, from, from what many of us experience today. Oh, Deb, the t-shirt quilt. Thank you. It's all quilted. And check out this backing. It's minky. And I really like it. It's a, it's a rust orange. And then the binding is blue. So it really works. I like it. I think the customer will be happy. So thank you. Okay, so who is, I think we have a new person here, you was, and I wanna know what kind of quilt you make. I will get my second back, okay, hi Maggie. You was, yes, I know you're new, but what kind of quilts do you make? Okay. Maggie, I'm glad you're out there. Okay, let's see. Now they're all trimmed. Let's sew them together and see our first modified Jacob's block. Oh, did I see Leah? Hi, Leah. Okay. There is the first Jacob's block laid out. Now let's web it together. I love piecing little blocks.
we go. Okay, old age is always 15 years. Huh. Satchel Page, who was a U.S. baseball player, says, age is a question of mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. That's good. Oh, Betty Davis, U.S. actress, old age is no place for sissies. I think we have read this. <laughs> George Burns, who was probably 100 when he wrote this, U.S. comedian and actor. I don't worry about getting old. I'm old already, he says. Only young people worry about getting old. <laughs> okay, one more. from This is Hesketh Pearson, an English actor, director, and biographer. He says, a man's character never changes radically from youth to old age. What happens is that circumstances bring out characteristics which have not been obvious to the superficial observer. Uh, ah, Claude Pepper, a U.S. congressman. Getting older is like riding a bicycle. If you don't keep pedaling, you fall. Oh, I have to keep reading these. So Marie Dressler, a Canadian-born U.S. actress, says, by the time we hit 50, we have learned our hardest lessons. We have found out that only a few things are really important. We have learned to take life seriously, but never ourselves. Okay. So there we go. Oh, Deb, you, Aaron's quilt is done. So I will drop that off tomorrow, just when I'm out doing errands, if that's okay. It'll be a nice day, so I can leave it on your porch, if that's okay. Let me know if not. Okay. This could be easy to switch the blocks around. I think I just have to trust that I've laid them out right. You know what I mean? Okay. Down on that one. I'm ironing the center seams so that I can at least nest them. I don't think I'll be able to, well, maybe I'll be able to spin the seams. I'll see. Hi, Maggie. Uh, is this the same pattern you showed us on your iPad last week? Yes. I've been trying all week to Google the pic you showed us. Love it. It sure is, Maggie. It's um, it, it's it's a, I'll show you. It's a variation of the Jacob's Ladder. And the only difference is instead of a four patch, we're making a nine patch. And I'll show it to you right now. Or as soon as I'm finished. Oh, I got this stuck in. Hi, Pat. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, is everyone ready for our next drawing? Next Friday night, we'll be drawing for a quilt. And I haven't decided which quilt yet, but I will post it on Facebook. I'll do that tomorrow. It will either be, well, I'll, I'll post it on Facebook. But all patrons of Simply Colorful who have not won already will be entered to win and will draw right here live on TV. On YouTube. Okay. So maybe that works. Okay, I think I can spin them. Maggie, does that mean you're you're sewing lately? Thanks, I'll be around in the morning. Okay, Deb, I'll come over in the morning then. And you don't even have to be there. I'll just leave it on the porch. I won't interrupt you at all. Ooh, yay! There we go. So, Maggie, look for the Jacob's Ladder pattern. And in the corner, in where all of these nine patches are, you'll see that in the pattern, they'll have a four patch. Just make it nine patches. There we go. Okay, one down. Thanks, Gabby. Hi, Sarah. Congratulations on your vaccine. Okay, one down. So now the next one should be faster in theory. And I think I'm going to make my half square triangles first. And then I have everything cut. I have one and a half inch blocks cut for my nine patches and off we go so there's that now i'll take my pencil and my ruler hi joanne i hope i catch everyone i love that you're out there Okay. okay. After I do this, I'm going to show you two quilts that Maureen Benjamin dropped off. And I know a couple of you on here know Maureen. And I think it might be fun to show you what she's been up to. Okay. So I have... These are my four inch blocks, by the way. And then I trim them down to three and a half inch half square triangles. And I probably don't need such scant seam allowances, but okay. I'm gonna iron it toward my dark side. I don't see everything. This one has frogs on it. Cute. Okay, so there they are at four of those. Okay, let me get a couple of quilts to show you.
first up is another t-shirt quilt. And she did an amazing job. I believe this is for one of her son-in-laws. Look at how she outlined every t-shirt. And she put borders on. Just an a just amazing the detail. So that's one. And I forget what we're gonna do on that. Hmm. <laughs> I really do forget what we're going to quilt on it. And here's another one that these are wedding colors, but it's so, it's Christmassy to me. And these are usually, although that looks like a pretty common pattern, but she usually designs them herself for patterns. Isn't that something? So I just wanted to show you two more quilts. Okay, let's get back to our Jacob's Ladder. Okay, so we have these four. Now let's make some, oh, this is good. See, I already had these made. So that's a dark in the middle. Let's put a couple of darks on the outside. Okay. This looks like a Sarah. This looks like fabric I got from Sarah. I bet it is. Sarah, the fabric you gave me before you left is beautiful. We might have to make something with some of it. Okay, and I'm just gonna do a couple of these like we did last time. Oh, our hockey team here, our Bruins have COVID, so the game has been canceled. that again the seam allowance is not good there we go so here's a light and a dark now I'm going to put a dark here pink and brown mmm yummy This one. Also do the dark, and I think then we'll have enough. do light on this one. OK. 
Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, this is the dark one. Now I have to make sure that I iron these the right way. Oh, Maggie. Why, hello, Conquering Mount Scrapmore with Brenda. Hello up in Edmonton. I've been following you for a few months, but I'm hand sewing. Thank you for posting these videos and for all that you do. Oh, I'm so glad you're up there. Thank you. Keep on sewing. I bet it's getting beautiful up there. Days are longer. Maggie says, I'm trying to get back into quilting. My home life has been crazy. I'm in the process of creating a new sewing room. With the help from my sister-in-law, I'm not walking much with a torn meniscus. Oh, no, that hurts. Oh, Maggie. Well, good. I'm glad you're setting up your own little sewing space. That'll help a lot. Oh, and your sister-in-law is sorting your fabric stash. I have 30-plus bins of fabric. I told her I am a curator of fine fabric. <laughs> Fancy hoarder, I think. I love that. Well, maybe she'll uh, she'll take up quilting with you. Maybe. Oh. Okay, so dark is in the middle, and I press the seams toward. Here, with light in the middle, I'm going to press the seams away from the middle. This way, when I cut them on the diagonal, I can nest them. Let me re-get that one. Then we have this one. Okay, this has a dark, so I'm going to press it in. Dark in the middle. Press it in. Okay, and then we have this one. Light in the middle, so press them out. Okay, so now I'm going to nest them and cut them across in one and a half inch sizes. So they go one on top of the other, right sides together. They literally, <laughs> they're not perfect, that's for sure. I don't know how that happens. I try to cut them right, but I cut them now. One and a half inches, making sure to keep your ruler perpendicular to the cross seams. Three. What did I do here? Okay. Okay, so there are four. I have that left over for another one. These also are going to be sort of alike, right? But that's okay. I'll try to mix them up a little bit. Okay, one and a half. One and a half. So Carol and Deb, Michelle has gotten started to get her vaccines. Deb is done. Carol, let me know when and if you're done. And then as soon as Bob and I, we're going to sign up starting April 5th, hopefully. We can sew together. Okay. So 
Now I'm going to, now that I know, I know I put them together and I could just sew them. I'm not going to because I'm going to try and mix this up a little bit. Okay, there's one, two. Okay, move everything away. See that? Oh, but I need five, don't I? Huh. Hopefully. Okay. Those are all middle, so we're going to... Just make a quick one there, there, and there. How random is that? Okay. Let's sew these together. We should be able to get another one of these done, I think. Oh, yay, Joanne. Hi, Amelia. Hi, Cindy. Yay, you're getting your second vaccine in Gillette at that's great. And Cindy, did you see? I'm using the fabric you gave me. Thank you for that. You'll see the frogs in a minute. That was so nice of you to drop that off. Okay. This is going to get all discombobulated, but that's okay. As long as I keep the darks in the right place, we'll be fine. Keep the values right. Oh, that's great. Cindy, you'll be going up to Vermont before you know it. Sew these together. I guess I could have sewn. I'm going to sew these together. Here we go. We'll cut this one off. Okay. So now we have one. husband got his yesterday. I wasn't able to get mine. Oh, good. Whoops. That. 
I have my... I think I have my sound off. Oh, KB, you're amazing. Look at what my sister's doing. Wow, they, those are so nice. Oh, no. Thanks, Norma. You like that? She's way ahead of me when it comes to quilting. Oh, Maggie. Oh, that's cool. I bet she's loving going through your fabric then. Okay, I have to keep, get going so we can at least say we finished two of these. Okay. Even after all these years, this is my favorite type of quilting. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's iron them. And I'm not going to be too worried about where things go. Oh, I know, Sarah. Isn't that amazing? She's making one of those Sue Garmin quilts. Can't wait to see them all. I love your colors, too. It's inspiring. Okay. So, how are we doing for time? Okay, we still have time. Yeah, they kind of... Okay. There's going to be the second one. This is fun. The little frogs. Okay. Actually... Let me make sure to trim them. Here it is. I think we have time. And it makes all the difference. It really does. I know. KB. Okay, there's one. Two. I do love my creative grids rulers. They grip so nicely. Three. I really, I, I debated whether to get the block lock rulers. I have one here. This one for four and a half, which I, I've used a lot. But... I wanted several different sizes and this works just fine. And it's, it grips. Whereas the block lock, it doesn't have the sandpaper like roughness. Instead, it has the channel on the back that, that fits into, it works well, but it only works well for half square triangles. Whereas this I can use on any squares.
Boy, my seams must be all over the place. There we go. Almost done. Sorry, I got in the zone there. That's funny. Sorry, everyone. I was thinking I don't know what of. How's the he Oh, good. Carol, hi. Yes, ditto what Linda says. How's your heel? Oh. Hope you can join us tomorrow. Just as a reminder, I know our patrons know, but if anyone out there wants to do an open sew, we do it Saturdays at 11 and Wednesdays at 3. We'd love to have you join us. It's very informal. Okay. And all you have to do is become a patron. Okay. I got these in the right place there. See, it's so random, I'm not even going to pay attention. Look at the little frogs from Cindy. There and there. Okay, let's sew this together. Woo, we have time. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Getting used to your boot. Oh, probably changing my work schedule for a couple of weeks. Just don't know what it will be as of yet. Yep. Take it slow. Let your body heal. Just what you need is someone lecturing you. I don't like it when the fabric gets pulled down by the feed dogs. But it happens. I don't have my... quilting faceplate on. Okay, there's that. Is every, has anyone seen Sue Norton's drawings? It's fun to see she's out there drawing. I'm not sure I have noticed.
Okay. There we have that. Actually, let me... Hopefully, I have time here. Oh, if Pam Bojigian is out there, hello. Okay, two more seams and then we will be done. So who's making plans for the summer? Hopefully people, I know people are taking quick little road trips. I know we have to ease back into this, but it is exciting. I'll make a few spring masks. The kind that just go with the elastic over my ear. That'll be good. Okay. Oh, we spun the seams. We still got time. Have to show you my spun seams, although then you'll see all my other seams that do not look very good. I must admit, even though I try to do things with precision, I need some starch. Okay. There is our second block of the night with the frogs from Cindy. Lots of camping. Oh, that's wonderful. Two long weekends, Joanne. Oh, that's great. Oh, Deb. No, my paintings. Bless you. Well, think about my paintings. Anyway, you're making me blush. Yes, I have a new I have a new hobby. It's painting. Oh, thank you, Linda Griffin. Thanks, I do too. They're gonna be fun to put together. Okay. Well, thank you all. I'll see several of you tomorrow at Open So. I can't wait. And thank you all. Have a great weekend. Do something you love, do something for someone else. You'll feel so good. And I'll see you next week. Bye.